In This Week in Military History, we explore the Battle of Trevilian Station, a cavalry battle during the American Civil War. In early June 1864, Union Major General Philip Sheridan was tasked with destroying railroad lines and taking his cavalry westward to draw Confederate attention away from Union forces under Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant, who were moving southward. On June 11th, Sheridan's forces, including cavalry led by Major General George Armstrong Custer, engaged in a cavalry battle with Confederate forces led by Major General Wade Hampton and Major General Fitzhugh Lee. Custer's forces blocked Major General Hampton and Major General Lee's approach of Sheridan forces by riding between the Union forces and approaching Confederate units. After defeating Custer's forces, the Confederate cavalry units dug into the familiar terrain. Sheridan's units, which had been in reserve, attacked on June 12th and were repulsed by the Confederates. The Union Army withdrew the night of June 12th. Sheridan failed to damage the Virginia Central Railroad lines. Despite this setback, the Union Army would continue to wage a war of attrition against the Confederacy in the summer and fall of 1864. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.